Okay, so the reason Kim, I... Kim, tell them about the guy who just came in. The, guy, the client we just had. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm on. Okay. <laughs> the voice in the back, that's Denise, but she won't let me show her. Hi. <laughs> okay, so you know what? The reason that we came back on really quick is because we get asked so many questions about real estate, the real estate market, what's going on, good time to buy, bad time to buy. And a prime example is a gentleman that just came into our open house. So yes, patience is a virtue, but not necessarily in the real estate game. The gentleman that just came in, wonderful guy, loves the house. And his comment was, you know, a couple years ago, I could have got this a lot cheaper. So now I'm thinking maybe I should wait a few more years for the market to change. Now here's the deal. You don't know when the bottom of the market has come and gone until it's gone. Prices well, missed up. And then you've missed the boat. Uh, everyone's waiting to see what happens, and what happened is the prices are going up. Yes, a couple of years ago, you could have got this cheaper. A couple of years from now, you might have to spend a whole lot more than you're spending today. We don't know. We don't know. We don't have a crystal ball. If we did, wow, things would be so different right now. <laughs> but we don't know what's going to happen in the market. Nobody knows. All the information that you get is just a guess. It's an educated guess but it's a guess. So when it comes to buying your real estate, you have to look at what is best for you in the market that we're in. Now, you have to also keep in mind, prices might be higher than they were two years ago, but there are so many more loan options. Interest rates are- Still low. Amazing. Um, they're, they're historic low. That's my word. She's laughing because I said amazing again, but, <laughs> um, but it's just, the, the real estate game changes all the time. So things balance out. Your prices might be higher, but your interest rates are lower and your options are more plentiful. Prices might be lower, but the interest rates might go up, which they're expecting, and your options are not as plentiful. So you still can't get into the market like you want it. Instead of trying to chase the market, which most of the time people end up losing out on, Work with a realtor that can really help you identify those up and coming areas, um, identify good property value in the area that you're looking in. And that's something that we really pride ourselves on. So I just wanted to kind of step out and, or step on and, and kind of share that because if, you, if you're trying to chase the market, you're probably gonna lose. So instead of chasing the market, chase the opportunities. Oh, I wish I could read all of these so quick, they're coming in. Okay, send that question again. Someone just asked something about advice. Send it, send it, send it. Don't be a miss the boater. Don't. <laughs> Words of wisdom from Denise. Don't be a miss the boater. 